Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here and welcome to new acrylic print video. Today I'm gonna do a traveling funnel technique on black and white base and I'm gonna embellish it with the ring design. Let's see how that turns out. So let's get right to it. Uh, I want to go for a black and white contrast and the sort of wavy yeah, this is actually perfect wavy layout. This black color is actually not black. It's a mix of black and few other dark colors. Lately, I've been trying to stay away from exactly black color. Experimenting with different shades. This is looking great. Now next I'm gonna do my traveling funnel. I got this little tiny one because this is a 11 by 14 cradled wood panel so I really don't need a huge funnel, funnel for this baby. Um, for my colors I want to go for something bright and vivid. So here I have some red. This is actually primary magenta, red violet, orange and gold. So very warm striking color palette. And I think I'll travel it inside of the dark part. So let's start layering in those colors. Let's start with this color. This was red, violet, gold. My primary magenta. And orange. This is actually iridescent orange yellow. And it really doesn't matter if some of my colors are remixed today. Oh, I see that I'm losing some paint. It really doesn't matter because they all work amazing together. Okay, let's travel this beauty. As I travel the funnel, I slightly release and lift it to release the paint. And all of my colors today are mixed with water only. So see, as I traveled it through the dark, um, my colors are mixed with the dark part, with the dark base a little bit, so they become darker and deeper. See that all of my gold is hiding underneath. I hope it will pop more when I blow it out a little bit. So what I want to try doing next, I want to try adding a ring design and I'm not gonna dip my ring, this is actually a huge cookie cutter, in my in the paint like I did before for some of my Breaking Through the Limits series paintings. Today I want to use it to shift the paint and create design, the ring design with paint that's already on a panel. So I can see as I'm spinning it that some of the color from here, you guys see it on the side? Yeah, see I'm dragging some of the color from the dark into my white. And the same thing happens on the other side. So the circle is complete. Now I can lift it. Wow, I love it. I love this white in the dark. This is looking really cool. Next here I have this uh, palette knife that has a bit of a um, curve to it, the, the texture to it, so I'm gonna try using it today. And I think I wanna add a little bit more gold. Oh, beautiful. Looking beautiful. You know what I'm missing in all these colors? I'm missing some white. So before blowing it out, I think I'm gonna be adding a little bit of white color in some parts. Thank you. 
Well, this section is beautiful. I feel like I might want to add a few turquoise accents in this palette. I think it's a bit too dark, but with this gold um, that pops all throughout and very delicate lacing style cells, it will look very cool when it's going to be dry. But overall, it's very elegant, very flowy, and I even like that this ring is not uniform. And I'm especially happy that I added that turquoise. I think it creates really amazing accents all throughout the painting. So yes, this painting, it's a very interesting combination of color split base, 3D effect with the flow goes through the ring, and of course, some very rich and juicy and yummy colors. What do you guys think? I would love to hear from you as always. I'll chat with you in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe if you haven't yet. Stay tuned for all the latest and greatest acrylic print tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.